sounds. So all sounds in English can be spelled in more than one way. There's about 40 sounds between the vowels and the consonants, and all of them can be spelled in more than one way. But the winner is the sound sh. Okay, there's 17 different ways to spell the sound sh. So today I'm going to show you four of them, and then we are going to give you a few more um, each time in a different video. Okay, so if we look at the word wish, this right here is our spelling for sh. This is the most common one that most everybody knows about and kids learn about in kindergarten, okay? Like in ship or shop or wish or cash, all right? So that's a very common way to spell sh. But we don't want to use this sh spelling when you're spelling nation or special or Michigan, all right? There's different spellings for that. So when you look at multi-syllable words, nation, n a sh. Here's another way to spell sh. This is the most popular way in multi-syllable words like in nutritious or initial, patient, okay, nation. All right, now the second most common way is this one right here in special, sp, eh, sh. Here's another way to spell sh, okay? So physician has that sh, okay? Um, another fairly common one in the middle of a word. This one really does not like to be in the middle of a word. Once in a blue moon, like mushroom or friendship, okay? But mostly beginning or end, okay? This, this dude doesn't like being in the middle. Now this one is, I have a pet peeve with Michigan. All right, especially like ESPN and CBS sports people. The, we just had the, um, you know, the NCAA tournament, and a lot of the announcers call this Michigan or Michigan State. Okay, it's not Michigan. Okay, it's Michigan. Okay, it's a sh spelling. So I want you to, you know, pay attention to that and think about. We have m i sh. If you think of Lou Holtz, he actually is on for ESPN for the football stuff, and he always says Michigan, okay? And also that guy that puts on the, what are they called? The heads of the mascots, um, I forget his name. But anyway, he also, I think, says Michigan. So pay attention to that and notice when you get here, like in Michigan, so it's a sh spelling. So this is another way to spell sh. Also in Chicago or Champaign, okay? So this, these are really your top four ways to spell the sound sh. And next, we're going to show you some that are a little bit um, more unusual, okay? So these are the top four. Our top four spellings for sh, like mish, again, okay?